Over thousands of years, human civilizations rose and fell on the planet of Earth, advancing in technological capability slowly as war, disease, and natural disaster often hindered development. Yet after recovering from fighting two world wars, they at last achieved space flight and in 1969 began expanding beyond their planet. Exploring their moon with manned missions, they also sent unmanned missions beyond, gathering information about the planets and solar system around them. Yet violence and division still ravaged the nations of the world, leading to a eugenics war near the end of the 20th century, resulting in 30 million deaths. In the 21st century, their spaceflight development continued, but was hindered once again due to their third world war, spanning from 2026 to 2053. Missions continued for a time, even during the years of war, but this conflict eventually led to the use of nuclear weapons, which in the end claimed the lives of roughly 600 million people. Yet while many died, their knowledge survived, and after a decade of recovery, the scientist Dr. Zephyrin Cochran invented warp technology, launching the Phoenix into space. The first warp-capable ship in Earth's history was then detected by an alien vessel passing through their system, who recognized the achievement as the last technological milestone needed to initiate first contact. Although quite different from humans in many ways, physically, the Vulcan species appeared very similar, likely having evolved from a common ancestor who spread their DNA across the planets of the galaxy. A once violent species, Vulcans began to practice ritual meditation and over time were able to suppress their emotions using logic and reason to guide their lives. As a result, they were a largely peaceful civilization, resulting in a new era of technological development for the planet of Earth, as they learned from the Vulcans and over the next century eliminated poverty and hunger throughout the world. By 2103, humans colonized Mars, and in 2150, the nations of the world were ready to unify into a single government. The following year, they launched the Enterprise NX-01 to explore deep space and make contact with new alien life, with a Vulcan even serving aboard the ship as a sign of the friendship and alliance between their species. And while humans were grateful for their assistance, some had also grown impatient with the Vulcans, who were hesitant to share too much information and risk sending humans into a dangerous galaxy unprepared. In many ways, this concern was justified, as humanity's ignorance about other species and cultures, as well as their desire to explore and claim new territory that bordered existing powers, sometimes led to conflict and war. Yet Humanity also made new alliances and friendships through their exploration, which eventually led to the formation of a coalition of planets in 2155. Feeling threatened by the rise of this new alliance, a war with the Romulan Star Empire erupted between 2156 and 2160, ending in a victory for the coalition forces. Defeated, the Romulans retreated into their borders and went into isolation for nearly a century. With the war won, the victorious worlds formed a new partnership, creating the United Federation of Planets in 2161. Though the Federation and the officers of Starfleet who administered their space program were dedicated to the peaceful exploration of the galaxy, their mere presence near the borders of other species sometimes bred conflict. This was the case in the early 23rd century when relations with the Klingon species of the Beta Quadrant soured, leading to years of Cold War in which they engaged in small-scale border skirmishes and fought an inconclusive battle at Donatu 5 in 2245. On one occasion, during what was later described as a Klingon raid of terror against a Vulcan research facility, a pair of humans were killed, leaving their young daughter, Michael Burnham, to be raised by the Vulcan Sarek and his wife, Amanda Grayson. She then went on to join the Federation and became first officer aboard the USS Shenzhou, but never forgot the horrors committed by the Klingons, making her one of the few humans who truly understood the aggressive nature of these mysterious aliens. The Klingons were a warrior race who reveled in battle and dedicated themselves to preserving ancient traditions traditions and rituals while adhering to a strict code of honor. For centuries they were led by an emperor and through their prowess in war were able to conquer a large empire. But eventually the emperor's power diminished, leaving them to be ruled by a high council of 24 great houses that often bickered and fought amongst themselves. Yet not all were blind to the way division weakened them, with a Klingon named Takuvma from a minor house coming to believe he was destined to reunite the empire and make it strong once more. As a child, 
child, he rediscovered the lost ship of his father, the sarcophagus, and dedicated himself to repairing it, vowing to restore the honor of his house. The ship then became his main base as he grew his following, and because he believed past divisions needed to be set aside, Takuvma even took in outcasts who were not accepted anywhere else, like the albino Vok. With the sarcophagus fully operational, Takuvma was able to develop cloaking technology and was at last ready to fulfill ancient prophecy and unite the empire to face a single enemy, which he believed was the Federation. And so he took his ship to the edge of Federation space and arranged for both the enemy fleet and the Klingon great houses to face off against each other, uniting the empire for the first time in many years to fight the battle of the binary stars. Love Star Trek? Then why not check out Loot Crate and their special mission crate with exclusive Star Trek collectibles, apparel, and gear delivered right to your door every month. If interested, be sure to click on the link in the description box below. A special thanks to all those who contribute to Civilization X. Like Q, Straight Arrow Valverde, Fen the Sundowner, Justo Sparrowhawk, and Tom, Moonstruck Waters. If you would like to help Civilization X, click on the Patreon link, and please be sure to like and subscribe, and click on the links to see more.